Well, welcome to 21 Days of Prayer. I'm Pastor Judy. We're on day seven. Thank you so much for joining us. Well, yesterday, as you know, we've narrowed our prayer focus down from the nations to our country. So we're going to be praying uh, for the United States today. Our prayer points, as you will have them online uh, in front of you, number one, to release the power of the Holy Spirit, bringing conviction upon our nation. Number two, that a wave of righteousness would invade our educational systems uh, throughout the country with schools and universities. And three, that school boards would be empowered by the Holy Spirit to choose to honor God and reject wickedness. And if you'll follow along, I'll read our two scripture references as well. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 17, all your children shall be taught by the Lord and great shall be the peace of your children. And Matthew 18, verse six, but whoever causes one of these little ones to believe in me, who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were drowned in the depth of the sea. Amen to that. Um, and now if you will follow along, just pray along with me. You have a prayer in front of you. Uh, I'll pray through this with you. And if you will continue uh, to keep your head bowed and just agree with me in prayer as I continue to pray along. Father, we thank you for your word that promises that our children will be taught by the Lord. We recognize that evil forces have attempted to infiltrate and destroy our children with ungodly beliefs. In the name of Jesus, we cancel this assignment from hell to indoctrinate our school systems and ask the Holy Spirit to convict school board leaders across the United States. May there be a renewed respect for God as the author of all education and may righteousness be accepted as the new standard in board meetings across our land. We declare a rising up of righteousness in the young adults in our nation that will rise up in our universities and high schools with an uncompromising and passionate power rooted in the Holy Spirit. And we ask the Holy Spirit to make himself real to this generation in his fullness. In Jesus' name, and I'll continue to pray. Father God, we thank you, Lord, for who you are, Lord. And God, we just, we pray for your peace and your power and your protection over in and through our schools and universities and all of the systems that are in place to, to govern them, whether they be school boards or, or board of regents, Lord, on the university campuses. God, for every place, Lord, that our students set, in, set their foot within, God, we pray that your hand of protection would be over them, God, that your presence would be in, in every gym and every um, cafeteria, auditorium, Father God, every hallway and classroom, Lord, that you would keep away anyone who would dare to bring evil onto these campuses and in your presence, Father God. We pray that every person on campus, Lord, are the people that need to be there, God, that you would keep them safe and unharmed, Lord. We ask that your protection extend to their health, Father God, that, that people would be healthy, especially the students, in their bodies and in their minds and in their spirits. And Father God, for those who don't know you, we pray salvation for every administrator, teacher, parent, and child, Lord, that you would bring people into their circle, God, that will minister to them and plant and water seeds of faith. Lord, we pray that, that your ways would be taught Father God, and that all political agendas would be set aside, Lord, that teachers would just teach kids, but parents would raise them up in your ways, God, in your ways, Lord, that when they grow old, God, they would never depart from those paths. Lord, we pray for every person who is a believer in these schools, God, to stand up boldly for Christ. Father God, particularly our students, Lord, with all the peer pressure, I pray, Lord, that you would help them keep their eyes fixed on you in every way, that they wouldn't look to the left or to the right, Father God, but that you would help them in every aspect of them as, as children, God, and as students, Lord. I pray that you would make learning fun for them, Father God, that they would be able to learn easily and recall God on tests so they don't have to have any anxiety about that. Father God, I pray that you would surround them with godly friends, Lord, that they would pray and encourage one, uh, one another, Lord, I pray, God, that you would grow them in their influence, especially these children, Lord, who love you so much. God, that you would raise them up into leadership, God, and you would grow their influence there, Lord, that they would be the light and love of Jesus, acting as his hands and feet to their peers, the teachers and their administrators. Lord, we also ask, God, that uh, you would give them wisdom, that they would make good decisions, God, 
and that you would help them to have submitted spirits, Lord, that they would be obedient to their parents. Father God, protect them in their innocence. Guard their every going out and coming in. We give over the care of our children to you, Lord, and we say, have your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you for praying with me on that. Um, today, we actually do have an action point for you. Hey, go find a local school and go do a prayer walk around that school, praying protection over them and uh, just praying for their safety, praying for the teachers, administrators and all, and um, that students are going to study well and learn truth and then claim that school for the Lord. Amen? Amen. Well, that ends our time. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.